this is what was towed behind the vessels that have found that the tiniest of these particles are disappearing. They don't know where they're going. So they made the statement that the plastic is disappearing out of the ocean. So Captain, what is, what is this? I mean, what, what are we looking at here? What plastic from what? This is uh, a, this looks to me like part of a hypodermic needle. Uh, this is a Valella Valella. This is a little sailing jellyfish that sails around in the ocean. Uh, these are plastic chips that have broken down from larger objects out here. We don't know where they came from. Some of them are from plastic bags. Look at, this is obviously, to me, a packing band. These are the kind of bands you put around a, a pallet full of goods. Now, after it's been in the ocean for a while, look at how brittle it becomes. It just breaks apart into little chips in my hand. Look at that. This is what happens. That's why we have all these little bits, and that's why the littlest ones are disappearing. But now we've got this new input. One sample represents a jar like this. But if you look 200 meters around the ship, before you do that, you find toothbrushes, you find these, you find things that are being eaten, starting to be munched on. Here's another toothbrush. This is just one 200 meter swath looked at with a drone and gone to pick up with a dinghy of material around the boat. Nets, nasty looking rope, lots of soap bottles, lots of crates, parts of crates, lots of eel traps. But the point I'm making is there's so much of this big stuff breaking down into the little stuff. Yes, the little stuff is disappearing, but we're inundating with large stuff that wouldn't even fit into this net. This, this wouldn't fit in here. You can't, you can't get this in. This doesn't fit into the mouth of the net. It doesn't go. So this would bounce off. So this isn't a catalog and a survey that crawls a net like that through the ocean. So this needs to be studied in its own right. It needs to be uh, revealed what is actually there. These plastic bags, this, this plastic trash bag, that is almost eaten up. You know? It's been consumed. It's been consumed around the edge. We couldn't get away from it. We go for weeks and we just see more and more and more of this stuff. This almost looks like a uh, sextant. I like uh, nautical instruments, but it's just an artifact from a crate. The, the area that we used to find just a few of these little chips now has all this kind of stuff in it. Uh, we collected, uh, netted, you know, we got tired of net. I got to the point where I just netted things that interested me because I couldn't net everything going by. This is why we don't want plastic bags out in the ocean. They disintegrate and this stuff becomes part of the food chain. This is just floating around the ocean, just on all, all over the place. It, thousands, let, let, me, let me be more specific. Millions of square miles of our ocean are in this state. Millions and millions of square miles. Huge swaths of the ocean are completely trashed. And because those areas are remote, they're not part of the conversation. We need to make them part of the conversation. These places need to be studied in their own right. Manufacturers of plastics need to go out there, they need to study it, and they need to clean it up.